Caracas. Yeah, what a journey. Um, so it all started because I am an acting coach in an acting academy called Act Cape Town and I had a bunch of students and as part of their learning, uh, they do a theatre module, even though it's um, a film acting academy. And I wrote this bunch of very talented students a play. I, I didn't know what the subject was going to be, but I had quite a lot of actresses and only two guys in the cast that I had to write for. And then there was an incident quite close by where I read in the local little daily newspaper, weekly or whatever, uh, about girls getting their drinks getting spiked and um, people being sexually assaulted, uh, you know, after being spiked. So I thought, okay, this is an interesting theme. So we got it together and we, we, we did the play and immediately it was very evident from the audience reaction that this is resonating with people. Um, sometimes after we'd perform uh, the play, you know, people would just start sharing, sharing their stories and um, the, the tragedies of what had happened to them. So we were sitting on something, yeah, quite important. So I was paying attention to that and I went, hold on, I got it into my head that we should make a feature film out of this play with these specific actors and immediately when I sort of ran the idea by them they were on board and um, I sat down and over one December holiday I wrote the screenplay and of course I thought it's going to be much easier than it actually turned out to be. Uh, it was my first uh, full feature screenplay and everyone tells you when, you when you write your first film just make it one character you know with a goal and make a clear storyline and here I was trying to make a multi-character uh, um, a script uh, so I had seven stories to weave together so it was quite tricky anyway I did it and then of course I was convinced we were going to get the money not knowing you know uh, line up the distribution first and, and, and just how hard it was going to be yeah so I, I knocked on a couple of uh, conventional doors and uh, try to follow some conventional routes to to get some finance secured and that wasn't happening so we ended up raising the money through a crowdfunding campaign which is really quite a, a hair raising sort of experience because you never know if you're going to reach your target goal are you going to have enough and then at the same time you get completely astounded by people's generosity uh, i think a lot of people backed us because um, something has happened to them uh, they are survivors of date rape or rape or they are mothers, daughters, grannies, fathers, brothers that really care about the subject and I think that's why a lot of people ended up backing us. Even so, we just had enough money then to form a small skeleton crew, mostly young people straight out of film school as crew, a very talented cinematographer, the cast was on board and uh, we got a lot of favours pulling in, uh, you know, locations and support from people and then we shot very fast uh, and we, we, we did it, we, we, we shot the film in three weeks. Uh, and then we sat with the footage and um, didn't have the financial ca capability of finishing the project. But then on the, on the basis of editing some of the, the scenes together, we raised the finance to then finish the film. So the whole, the whole journey uh, it, it took a while, um, but I'm super proud of it. Um, the screenplay ended up being quite different from the theatre play. Of course, they're very different mediums. But I think at the heart of it, the, the message and the intention behind the play is very similar to the intention behind the film. Um, and that is to try and shift behavior, to really um, create social change. We ended up uh, being, I think, already in post-production. Um, uh, you know, when the Harvey Weinstein story had already broken, uh, Bill Cosby uh, had happened. Uh, and, and, and then all the marches started in the country against gender-based violence, against femicide. Um, and it still needs to be addressed. So I'm super proud of this little indie film we made. I'm especially proud of the very honest and beautifully crafted performance from such young actors. Um, yeah, who believed in the project. So yeah, I still hope it will affect change. Looking back at the experience now, um, I think, and looking at the excitement from the distributors, and it's uh, or already been in cinema, it's not at festivals, I, I'm just enjoying the film for what it is, you know. Besides the cause, which was the initial incentive, when I look at it now, I go, wow, we actually, we made a very cool film. 
it sort of I think it grabs you I think it holds your attention uh, and then there's a couple of twists and reveals that I find quite thrilling so yeah I hope we can get out there even more